Elmwood students explored science and technology during the annual STEAM Night event. Here's a look at the numerous activities. So what happens is we have a bottle that is full, filled with oil and water, okay, and we know that oil and water cannot mix, right? Those two don't go together. But when we break up part of an Alka-Seltzer tablet, this dissolves only in water or a liquid. So when you drop it in, you're going to notice the tablet starts to dissolve and it releases a gas called carbon dioxide. And when it's released into the oil, the oil keeps the bubbles from popping, which makes the really cool lava lamp effect. So this is technically our second annual STEAM night at uh, the Elmwood School. But this all started about two years ago. Valerie Lachansky, who is the subject matter leader for science at the high school, came to me and said, why don't we have a STEAM team in Hopkinton? And so she and I sort of put our heads together about how this would sort of begin. And little by little, she has recruited all of these teachers. And I will say that these teachers who do this do it on a volunteer basis. So anyone who is part of the STEAM group comes together, they give up their time. We've made community connections so that a lot of the resources that you see here tonight were donated to us from parent groups and businesses. And last year when we did this, we were isolated here in the cafeteria. This year we are spread out everywhere and kids have passports and they are visiting countries for the S for Science, T for Technology, E for Engineering, A for Art, and M for Mathematics, all the way from here down to the gym. It's a wonderful evening. So. Yep, she has to pull it all the way. And we try and, all right, and you can try to stack it onto these two. Now pull it off. Pull out. The uh, boys and girls are making trampolines in one of the engineering um, choices and what they need to do is they need to attach rubber bands um, across the colander with toothpicks um, and once they feel like they have enough rubber bands going across they try to bounce either a ball or a rubber duck um, off of the rubber bands and they just kind of see how high they can get it to go. Today we're trying to get this robot to like the kids to program the robot so that it starts from this time, goes to the end of the wall, hits it, comes back, makes a rotation, it comes back to this time. So basically, 
Mr. Scott over there has written out a code for us, so basically with like wrong values. So we need to teach the kid what kind of value, what kinds of values like affect each stuff, like you know, what power goes into each motor and stuff. So that's what it's on this screen. So we added. So we're using the Lego Mindstones. That allows us to like make edits easily and it's a really simple thing to understand. So and it's a, a good introduction to robotics and programming at the same time. So this is um, goldenrod art. So what happens is we take the, this is like the magic paper, and then we put this, take this Q-tip, and we're gonna dip it in this, which is um, a special liquid. It's sodium carbonate, which is a base, and it'll react with the paper to create a drawing. And then, but so the paper reacts differently with different liquids and stuff. So this is just normal water. And if we try the same thing, it's warm. It won't react because the sodium carbonate is a base which reacts with an indicator in the paper. Two apples equals a sticky tip. That's funny, I finished it. No, 